Hey guys, it's Nick from F150Ladies.com. Today, we're here with our 15 F150 and we're we'll be showing you how to install these awesome Spartan Cree 60 watt hood lights on your 15 and up Ford F150 series truck. They're extremely bright. They look fantastic even when they're off. The install is easy and we're gonna show you how it's done right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get our hood mounts installed onto our hood here. You'll notice that these uh, brackets are not identical. All right, so you've got a, a longer side on the top and we're gonna have our shorter side here on the bottom. And you'll notice that on the passenger side, the C is gonna face inwards. So it's gonna mount like this and the driver side will mount like this. So make sure you mount the right bracket on the right side. So now how we're gonna do this, let's go ahead and remove this antenna just to get it out of the way. Don't have to do this. Just make it a little easier. So what we're gonna do is there's this kind of like plastic uh, shielding here. You can just pull up on it and it'll pop loose just like that. And there's a bolt located right here. It's a size, uh, we can use a size 10 socket and we can remove this bolt and then our bracket, we're gonna set it right in place here and then we'll reinstall uh, that bolt. So let's go ahead and do that. See if that's enough. There we go. Now we're gonna take our bracket. Again, make sure it's aligned with this, uh, the C facing the uh, inside of the truck and you've got your tall bracket here on the top. And you'll notice this angle coming uh, back towards the back of the truck. So it's gonna drop that uh, bolt right back into place. And then we're just gonna put it under this black plastic tab here and into right back into the truck's frame there. I'm gonna thread a couple. Okay, now let's grab our socket wrench and tighten it back down. One thing to notice is, or note, is that this uh, bracket here can slide. It's got an open channel. Uh, so you wanna make sure you're not touching the paint here, but don't go all the way in because uh, if you do, then you'll get a little bit of a push on this guard once we uh, close it. Now that our bracket's installed, let's go and fold this plastic cover back under the bracket. Like so, pop back into place. Now that we've got our brackets mounted on the truck, let's go ahead and prep our Spartans. So all what we need to do here is attach our adjustable mounts. All right, so flip the light over and you'll notice that there are two open channels here and that's what we're gonna insert our adjustable uh, bracket here in. It's a little bit of a snug fit, but you're gonna want these uh, channels here to line up with the uh, outer holes on the lights because that's where our screws are going to come through. All right, so let's see. Once you get it where you, it lines up, we're going to take these nuts and you're just going to drop uh, one underneath the bracket here, just like so. Kind of hard to see on camera, but that's going to uh, now allow us to insert our uh, bolt here, like so. And then we'll be able to use the included Allen wrench to make contact with that nut there. And it's gonna allow us to tighten it all the way. And once you get about 80%, 90%, we'll go ahead and do uh, the other side as well. Now that we've got both our side bolts and our adjustable bracket here installed, we just need to uh, add our mounting bolt. So you can just slide it under your adjustable bracket like so, and now it's in the uh, opening bracket channel. And now we're ready to mount our Spartan light to the truck itself. Let's go ahead and mount our Spartans by running our bolt through the hole here in the top of our bracket. And we're gonna tighten it here with this nut. I'm gonna uh, use my hand to get the first few threads on. Like so. Now we can take a size 14 wrench here to use at the top and a size 13 for the nut. So let's go and grab hold of that one. Now as far as where to position your light, You've got some options. You can slide it 
uh, further in or further uh, to the outside, kind of like where I've got it right here. Well, that looks good to me, but that's based on your preference. So fully tighten it down once you've got it where you want it. And now we'll uh, repeat for the other side and then work on our uh, harness connection. What we've done, we've routed the wire uh, under the light and then just under this uh, plastic trim piece and right here uh, where it comes into the hood. And you'll notice a notch here on our IP68 fully weatherproof uh, connector. Uh, just line that up with the opening here and we're gonna uh, connect it just like so. Push all the way in and then we'll bring our lock ring collar here. And this is gonna fully seal the harness against the elements. So you've got a fully secure Connection there. Okay, so now we're going to repeat for the other side and then we'll make our uh, connections at the battery terminal. Now we simply need to connect this black negative ring terminal to the negative side of the battery and this red positive ring terminal to the positive side of the battery. Okay, so now we're on the last step, which is connecting our harness here to a switch so that we can control the hood lights. Now we do have a great option for you and that's our wireless receiver unit. So this allows you to control the lights uh, wirelessly with this key fob remote. And all that it takes is a simple connection here to your harness to our wireless receiver. So that's it. You can actually now already control your lights without running any wiring inside the cab. Plus you get strobe light features that are built into the receiver unit. So this is a great option, uh, whether you're out on the campsite or job site, it allows you to really use the lights even when you're not inside the uh, cab of the truck. Now this uh, receiver unit still works with an in-dash switch as well if you wanna be able to control it wirelessly or with the dash switch, you would just connect your dash switch to this side here. Now, if you're not gonna use your uh, wireless unit, all we need to do is run our uh, harness here through a rubber grommet, which is hard to show on the camera, but we'll show a picture. And then we'll pull it through on the other side and show connecting our in-dash switch. So setting up our switch inside the cab is very easy. So this is the harness that we ran through that rubber grommet and we've got it connected to our wireless receiver here because we're gonna be using it. And now we're just gonna uh, take your switch and you're just gonna run your connection side of your switch here right down through your center column and it'll come out just the bottom here. And we're gonna connect it to the other side of our wireless receiver, like so. And now we've got uh, control of our lights using this switch in the cab as well as our wireless uh, remote here. Now again, if you're not using this wireless adapter, uh, you would just connect your switch side here right to the harness that we ran through the uh, truck. Okay, so we can just uh, clean the surface here, which we've already wiped off. And then we'll just remove this protective film here and simply attach our switch right to the dash. Obviously you can put the switch anywhere that you like. Uh, that's a convenient spot for us to uh, get to. So all that's left now is just to use some of the included zip ties, uh, tuck our wiring up under the uh, dash here so it's out of the way and won't get obviously be involved. Okay guys, that's all there is to installing our Cree Spartan hood lights on your 15 and up Ford F-150 truck. It's a fast install and it really makes a dramatic uh, improvement to the lighting output on your truck in the evening, at night, and even when these things are off, they add an aggressive, uh, really good look to the truck. So we highly recommend you check them out. Uh, also check out the wireless and the strobe light uh, addition that you can add to it. The camera can't capture how bright these things are, but we guarantee that you're gonna love them. You're gonna really enjoy them. Check them out at F150LEDs.com. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest LED offerings for your Ford F150 and Super Duty trucks. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you at F150LEDs.com soon. Thanks guys.